Hey guys, welcome to class. I'm Brad. I'm Cher. And uh, today I'm going to teach a yin-ish class. So we're going to do a couple of uh, yin poses, but also mix it slightly with some just deep relaxation poses. So please hop into something comfortable, whatever it is that you choose, and uh, grab a mat, yeah, some yoga pants. <laughs> um, if you need, if you need a, a pillow or anything like this, like a big pillow or a stack of books, because some poses are challenging for you when it gets deeper into flexibility, grab them, I'll cue them, meaning I'll share with you when you should use them and how you should use them, even though I've got nothing. I'll do it invisibly, and then we'll get started. So, join me on the mat. All right, guys, so we're gonna get right into it with no further ado. Before we even get started, I actually want you just to sit with the soles of your feet together if you can, okay? If this is ever too much, you can, of course, put a block underneath your butt or like a stack of books or even a pillow, okay? Bring your hands just onto your knees, okay? And wherever you are, let's find a moment of calm. So close the eyes. And then roll your shoulders up towards your ears. Breathe in. And then roll them down and back. Breathe out. Then roll them back. Breathe in. Up forward and down. Breathe out. Then forward and up. Breathe in. Down and back. Breathe out. Then back and up, breathe in. And forward and down and out. And sit still for just one moment. I want you to see where your mind is at. It could be cloudy, muddy. It could be in a billion different directions, especially if you've been on the phone or on phone calls or on your screen. The point is not to see where you're at and try to fix it. The point is to accept where you're at and move from there. So take a big inhale and let it go. Slowly open your eyes and let's get started with our first yin pose, this uh, Baddha Konasana position, butterfly, okay? So you can stay here or if you wish for a little bit more, you can bring your arms underneath the shins and push them down, okay? From here, it's also nice to, let's say, put a pillow on top of your feet or to put a stack of books. But I want you to relax the head, make sure there's no tension. And because I don't have a timer next to me, we're gonna do this for 15 breaths. And you can do normal breaths. Some of you may know ujjayi breathing. That's not what you do in a yin-ish class. But if that's what you want to do, go for it. But do take deep breaths. And please pay attention to the words that are coming into your mind, the feelings that are going on into your body. Because the language that we speak in our head, not just from a yoga perspective, but from a personal development and self-growth perspective, is very important. Are you having this can-do attitude? Like, ah, okay. This is a pose that I can slowly get into. Or are you going, oh, I'm tight because I did too much today. I should have taken more time for myself. That's the difference in language. And that's very important that you change your language as much as you want to have this feeling of, oh, I need to do more. Let me motivate myself to do more. You go, hey, I'm here. I've got a step forward already here. That puts you in solution mode, not in problem mode. Keep breathing. And stay with the silence.
We've got about five more breaths. So the body should naturally begin to open up in this pose right now since you've gone here for quite some time. If you feel like deepening the pose, you can extend the feet a little more forward and bring your upper body down. If the body says nope, then listen to it. Keep breathing. And keep shifting those words in your head to say something solution-based, positive-based, and resilient-based. Empowerment to yourself, or empower yourself. Take one more breath. And then as you inhale, slowly begin to rise yourself all the way up. Come out of this pose, okay? Walk your hands back behind you. Take a moment to breathe. And then roll the shoulders back, lift your chest towards the sky, breathe. Slowly come back towards center. For those where positions like this are easy, great. You can tap right into this calmness. For others, and I know Michelle has this challenging time, it's like, oh my God, I don't want to sit still anymore. I need to move. And right then and there is when I need you to sit so deeply with your breath and focus on letting every breath open the body. And I'll say that again, every breath open the body. So next pose. Extend the legs forward, okay? And I just want you to bring your right foot in towards your chest. And we're gonna take a soft rock the baby pose. So this is where it gets yin-ish. This is where you get your movement. Breathe, close your eyes. And try to keep your chest lifted. If this is uncomfortable, you can bring your left leg in a bit to let the knee come down if that's too much. Find a comfortable spot for the left leg. And then from here, bring the right foot over the left thigh and hug the knee into your chest. Okay, and roll the right shoulder back. We hold here also for 10 to 15 breaths. Begin. And feel free to close the eyes. And again, when the mind goes everywhere and there's lots of silence, just focus more on listening to your breath and feeling your body. And if you can't do that, breathe deeper and squeeze harder. That will get your attention. On your next inhale, come back to center. Move over to the left. Do a little baby push-up. And then come all the way back up. Good. And then from there, let the right knee just push down to the ground for a moment. Okay? Just as much as you can. This is a little bit of a soft position. So as you can see, we're kind of holding a pose as a yin pose. And then we're doing a counter pose that's not a traditional counter pose at all. And you're kind of just going to push the right hand on to the right knee so the right knee goes down to the ground and flex the right toes towards your knee. And maybe add a bit of a forward fold, yeah?
Okay, on your inhale, back towards center. This gets tricky. Squeeze the right heel to your butt and shift your hips right, a little to the left so that the knee can come down to the ground and the foot can go down as well. The foot can be in three different directions. Top of the foot down, out to the side, okay, or even turned inwards even more. You choose how you wish, okay, but make sure that there's not too much pain. This is good for bringing some blood all the way into the tendons around the knee. So now from here, hands go back behind you, or if you're uh, Michelle, you can lean all the way back and lay down. Can you go for it? Yeah. And you go one elbow at a time, okay? Otherwise, just stay here with me. This one for me is just fine. Ten breaths here. Close the eyes. And even if you feel like you've got to be somewhere, shut the mind off for a moment. And try to find and really cultivate, when I mean cultivate, try to find within your brain and in your body that physiological response where you go, oh, I'm enjoying this, oh, I'm having fun. Yeah. For those of you that like trips to roller coaster places like Disneyland or other things, <laughs> as funny as it sounds, take yourself back to that emotion, transfer that emotion right here. This is about brain hacking. This is about mind hacking. This is yoga. And coaching. Four more breaths. All right, one more breath. And then come all the way back to center. Come back up slowly, one elbow at a time, if you're where Michelle's at. And then extend the legs slowly forward by moving your hips over to the left. Okay? And then you're going to shake the legs out and bring a little bit of blood back into the body. Good. Now we have the left side. Okay? So grab a hold of your left leg, rock the baby, right hand, left ankle, left hand, left knee. And what I didn't mention before is you can also make it more intense, like how she's doing it, but she can interlace her hands if she wishes, and then try to lift the chest a bit more, okay? So rock the baby, just like that. Or just keep your hands here and keep it soft. Okay, breathe a little bit deeper. And then see if you can place the left foot over the right thigh and hug your knee into your chest really nice and strong and still reach your left arm back behind you roll the shoulder back and breathe deeply 15 breaths Remember, if it's hard, squeeze deeper, breathe deeper. And I mean hard mentally. If it's hard physically, soften. Three more breaths. Next inhale, come back to center. Do a baby push-up on the right side. 
and then all the way back up. Okay, and from here, keep the left ankle crossed over the right thigh. Just try to shift your upper body a little bit forward as you push the left knee a bit towards the ground a couple of times. Make sure that there's no pain. I think that's the most important part. And I remember when a teacher told me about pain, it's not that you shouldn't have pain in terms of like, oh, I can't stretch anymore, that is painful. But what I mean is the pain where you go, I'm gonna injure myself. There's a difference, okay? There's a difference between, oh, that's a bad pain and that's a pain that I can manage because it's lengthening the muscles. On the next inhale, come back up. And your job is to find that difference, by the way. And we move over to the right, we bring the knee down. Okay, and we do the same pose here. But when I mean your job is to find this difference, especially in a pose like this, your job is to find that difference calmly, carefully, and stably. So feel free to take the advanced version or feel free to take the more beginner route here. And sometimes I don't know why they call it a beginner just because your body may not adapt to this. I think beginner and advanced is more on a meditation level. Can you meditate 90 minutes without moving? That would be advanced. And be focused on, let's say, no thoughts. Good luck with that. Four more breaths. Last breath. Okay. And as you inhale, you can slowly come up one elbow at a time or you can just come up like me and you shift again over to the right and then extend the left leg out from underneath you and shake it out, let the blood get back into the leg. Good. Okay, last little poses. From here, spread your knees apart, okay? I'm gonna kind of fall over onto her. So you're gonna move your knees over to the left, all right? And you're gonna be a bit careful, so you shift. Make sure you don't feel any weird twinges or pains here as well. And I just want you to softly forward fold over your left leg. Nothing crazy. If you need a pillow or blocks, like I said, put them right underneath your, over your left leg. You should feel a little bit in the hips and try to transfer the weight towards the middle of your body rather than all the way over to the left, okay? Try to transfer a little bit over to the mid section. 10 breaths. Stay resilient, especially with the pose. Okay, on the next inhale, slowly come back up. All right, keep your hands back behind you. Take your time. Stay for a breath. Big breath. All right, other side. Slowly move the knees to the right side of the room. 
Okay, find a good position. Try to bring the center of the weight to the middle of your body and then forward fold for 10 breaths. Again, if you need blocks, feel free to. Or <laughs> pillows, whatever you've got. Even blankets, I should have said that earlier. Blankets are helpful too. About two more breaths. And then on your next inhale, rise yourself back up. Bring your hands behind you just for a moment to stay. <clears throat> Big breath in and out. Okay. And then knees back to center. Now, if you wish, you can lay yourself down and take Shavasana for a couple of minutes. I prefer to give you that. So if that's what you need right now, extend the legs forward, lay down and enjoy. Otherwise, I'd like you to sit here for a moment just in silence with the eyes closed. Okay. And we're just going to do a couple of nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. Okay. So make your breaths a little bit longer. Feel the depth of your breath through your whole rib cage and your body. And we'll begin. Normal, nice, deep inhale. And slow exhale. Deep inhale. Try to match them at the same pace. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Normal breathing. One moment of silence. All right, guys, bring your hands to heart center. If you're in Shavasana, stay there. Keep enjoying. Thanks for joining this practice. As I love to say, namaste means that I bow to you, which I do, and that the light in me honors and cherishes the light in you as well. So from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you for joining this video and uh, partaking in class. Thanks, Michelle, <laughs> for being. Um, just 
As a reminder, like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Let me know your feedback, what you're looking for, how the class was for you, anything else that you need and I can support you with. I'm really here to serve you. So I wanna keep making these videos for you and uh, create some programs coming up, but I'll keep that on the download for now. Down low for now, I think I said download. Anyhow, ciao for now.